This question of UPSC asks this year talks about the main features of Vedic society and religion. The question also says that do you think that some of the features are still prevailing in Indian society? Now we have to figure out that if we talk about society and religion, they form part of culture. So the question has been asked because Vedic culture can be seen as a living cultural heritage. Even up to the present time, we can find so many elements of continuity. First of all, we have to figure out that when we talk about Vedic society, the society was initially simple based on the idea of kinship in which the main unit was family or kula. Then the society was very patriarchal. The people, they prayed for Praja. So, what do you mean by Praja? More and more sons they demanded and the birth of the girl child, it was not much welcomed. Then the social system that was prevailing that time was in the form of Chaturvarna system. Society was divided into four Varnas, Brahmins, Kshatriyas, Vashya and Shudras. When you talk about this Chaturvarna system, the position of Sudras was not much better and the system was dominated by the priestly class and the ruling class, Brahmins and the Kshatriyas. If you talk about Vedic religion, the Vedic people worship different aspects of nature like rain. Indra was rain god. Water. Varuna was personification of water. Agni. So initially, they worship different aspects of nature. Then, gradually, more and more deities started becoming prominent. Like by later Vedic time, Vishnu emerged as a prominent deity. Prajapati became very important. Prajapati was the creator god. Vishnu was the protector god. And third god became very important was Rudra. Rudra was the god of cattle. Later, Rudra was equated with Shiva. There were many rituals and yagyas. And gradually the rituals emerged so many that eventually a reaction also came in the form of Upanishads which discarded rituals and emphasized on Gyanmar. Now, if the society and religion of Vedic age was like this, even in our present time we can find many of the continuities like still the society is based on the idea of family and the idea of Kula or family is still very prominent. Society is still very men centric and it's still very patriarchal. And certainly the position of women is still, it has to improve a lot. Then still there is a belief in Chaturvarna system and we can find in category of society different classes mentioned like the Brahmins, Kshatriyas, Vaishya and Shudras. And certainly the position of the Shudras and the depressed classes. Certainly, we cannot say it is much better. Then, if we talk about the society again, a continuity, there are many rituals that are still followed, many yagyas that is still there. And certainly, many of the deities, the Vedic deities, there is still worshipped, like Vishnu, no? like Brahma, Prajapati, and like you talk about Shiva. Again, if you talk about the introduction of this question, can we not say that though the Indo-Aryans, they were basically just a branch of Aryan family and one branch of the Aryan family migrated towards Europe, one branch migrated towards India and Iran and eventually that branch also got divided, one branch settled in Iran and one branch came to India. So, Indian branch, Indo-Aryan branch was basically a branch of Aryan family. But can we not say that in India they developed quite a peculiar Vedic culture, society and religion. Then many of the elements still continue up to the present time. So in conclusion, can we not say that basically Vedic culture can be considered as one of the living cultural heritage in India. But at the same time, we also have to admit that when you talk about this Vedic culture, we have to be careful here that in form of Vedic culture, we should try to take forward the positive elements like think about Upanishads, the great philosophical 
like basis that they would give to Indian society. That certainly should be carried forward. But when you talk about the negative elements, like, like the suppression of the depressed classes, like the patriarchal nature of the society, and that should be certainly discarded. And certainly, then we have to conclude that from this living cultural heritage, we should try to take forward the positive elements.